from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. Good afternoon. It's a big day here on Afternoons LA Late. Your economic data is released this morning, and it was a mixed bag. We started today with the jobless claims number. It dropped dramatically. The continued unemployment claims also fell. But on another front, you know what number was also being released today. The retail sales, the third day of inflationary data following that CPI on Tuesday, the PPI on Wednesday. What did the retail sales show? Inflation's going higher. There we go. Inflation's going higher. Higher that retail sales number than even expectations were, were looking for. I have the latest details on that retail sales number today, but the major number was not either of those at least for me, it was the bond yields. The bond yields in less than three days has surged dramatically from a seven, from a 3.7 right before that market crash on Tuesday when the markets fell a thousand points to then 3.78 to today a really bold 3.8. This is the highest bond yield of a two-year treasury note since 2007. They're anticipating a Federal Reserve spike in September and many more thereafter. This is going to send the U.S. economy into a very deep recession for two years. All the latest details across the board. But the great news for you is I got massive checks. Massive checks. Tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks coming in three days, five days, over $10,000. How do you get them? You go on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Say the very end because we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. Plus, if you did not see it yesterday on a special report of evenings, a recap what happened. Yes, we now have the CPI dash W for the month of July and August, which is the number that determines your benefit raises a lifetime. We'll go over what those two of three numbers that we now have in our back pocket say, and what date we're actually going to have the official announcement to raise your benefits a lifetime. We'll go over everything you need to know, the data, the anticipation, the dates, the timeline, and the analysis in today's recording. Big money raises of your money, raises of your stimulus, and the falling of the U.S. economy. It all comes up in today's recording from the shores of Santa Monica, California. I'm excited you're here. Let's get to the breaking news starting right here, right now, as a big bold September 15th, 2022 gets underway. And good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It is September 15th, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. I'm L.A. Light, and this is Afternoons L.A. Light. Lots of major breaking details. We're going to go over the jobs number. We're going to go over the raise of your benefits, the impact on housing, the labor number, and all that incredible stimulus. Don't forget to become a member. Go under the video, join this channel, and stay the second half as we go over these huge checks. There's now upwards of 300 checks, $300,000, and you qualify. It's all federal stimulus. Coming in three days, tens of thousands of dollars. Big money. We got a lot coming up in today's recording. And I'm hoping you're having a beautiful day. Thank you again for joining me as the weather has cooled down here in Southern California. You can tell by the outside light that it is actually a little bit darker today, less light. Light, not that scaldering hot light of August or early September. Now we are going into those cooler weeks of September. Let's get to the breaking news starting right now. Lots of economic data coming in this morning. We knew it was going to come in. And what did it say? First, let's jump over to those jobless claims numbers. These are people who newly claimed unemployment assistance. It's released every Thursday, and I've been featuring it every day on this channel since day one this channel launched in March of 2020. The number was about 140,000 in April. Then it went to 200 very quickly around July. Then it went to 230, and then it went to 260. It pulled back in about the last three weeks to about a 240, 235 approximately. So it's still up from June levels. Let's not celebrate this number at all. Going into today, 
the expectation of that number was about a 225, which was about last week. They're looking for about a 225. Now, it is seasonally adjusted because we have this we have this now September period coming in. So where was the jobless number? A 235, a 240? No, it was a 213, a 213,000 new jobless claims, lower than expected. So this is a stronger number across the board. Then the other data we had for the uh, for the jobless numbers was the continuing jobless claims. Let's look at that number. That was also slightly better than expected. The the jobless claims, of course, was down five thousand from the previous week, which is two twenty five. And then uh, it came as the continuing jobless claims also improved left and right. The second number that was released today which we all were waiting for all this week, in fact, all the last few weeks as well, is the retail sales. Remember, inflation comes out with three data points every month together in consecutive days. The first day is always the CPI. The next day is always the PPI. And the third day is always the retail sales. And you know what I've always taught you about with retail sales is it's important. If you go and buy a gallon of milk, one gallon, one, one container of milk, and it is now $5, and last month it was $2, that will show the retail sales went up. Even though you didn't buy more milk, you just bought the same one item of milk, it's more expensive. So this is a very important distinguish, distinguishing feature you have to understand when we look at the retail sales number. Most people don't explain that to people, and I want you to understand that. So the retail sales number came in, and let me tell you what the expectations were for this number as of September 11th. The retail sales for August 2022 released today, September 15th, the expectation was an increase of 0.2%. This would have fallen after, followed after the CPI rose on Tuesday and the PPI was basically flat on, on, uh, on Wednesday. So what did this retail sales do? Did it come in at a 0.2% increase? No, it came in a little bit higher. It came in at 0.3%. Now, as soon as that number came in, some analysts said the Dow was expecting a no change of a flat number. No, they were not. <laughs> you notice how I looked at my notes? I, I looked at my notes because I fact-checked them. We were not looking for a flat retail sales number. I have the, I have the analysis from last, from last weekend. That's why I keep my old notes. If you had a camera all looking at my table, I have notes for the last three weeks on, on, in, right in front of me. We had expected a raise, a rise of the retail sales of 0.2. It came in higher than expected, 0.3. So let's look at where that rise came in. When you adjusted for inflation, it rose 0.1%. Now, when you exclude automobile sales, it decreased 0.3%. Wow, that's a big flop. So it rose, including sales of cars. When you remove car sales, it fell 0.3%. That's how many cars are being sold right now. Uh, ex if you exclude autos and gas, it rose 0.3%. Fascinating. The biggest driver of the retail sales number released today, obviously, as you just heard that data, was automobile parts and cars rising 3% in four weeks. <laughs> wow. Rising 4% in, one, in, one week, in four weeks. And the biggest uh, decline was gasoline down 4.2% in one week in four weeks online sales actually decreased because you know it's it's august who's who's shopping online you know you're traveling you're enjoying this the beach you're not really shopping for christmas gifts in, in august um and there you go fascinating details across the board here's some analysis analysis came in from peter bukovar who is at the bleakley advisor group Higher inflation drove the top line sales figure, but the volumes are obviously falling. So that's exactly what I was just talking about. You're not buying two pints of ice cream. You're just buying one pint of ice cream. And so $12 ice cream, it's now $13 ice cream. Sorry, Nancy. <laughs> Ian Shepardson at Pantheon Microeconomics said, uh, it's just a mixed report. It really is. I mean, it's not really... There's nothing that surprises us in this report because early this week we had the CPI and we saw the used car sales were down, but the, re, but the new car sales were up. So there was no surprises in this report. The third data that came in today was manufacturing. This is really important. Why should you know this number? 
Recession is defined as two negative quarters of GDP growth. Negative growth means the economy is getting smaller. It's not growing. And it's getting smaller two quarters, which is three months. So that's six months of negative quarter growth. Um, here is what you need to know. When you look at the manufacturing number that was released today, there are two. The New York Federal Reserve's Empire State Manufacturing Report and also the Philadelphia's Fed Gauge. They weren't good. They both showed contraction of the U.S. economy. The two reports showed uh, showed that there was more contraction than expansion. Here's one of the most important of the two numbers. Philadelphia's report showed a drop. A drop is, is contraction. Negative is, is getting smaller. You're getting smaller. Gr up and positive means you're, 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 you're expanding the economy. You're making the economy bigger and bolder. They were looking for the Philadelphia number to be a positive 2.3, a growth of 2.3. It was a negative 9.9. .9. Ouch. Whoa. So instead of up 2.2, it was down almost 10. Yeah, that I don't think is good whatsoever. <laughs> you, know what I'm, you know why I looked to my side? You know why I looked. I was looking for Joe Biden's quote from two days ago, remember? He said, manufacturing's way up. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not, Joe. Here we go. And he's going to say, well, Wall Street doesn't indicate the U.S. economy. This is the U.S. economy. This is the Federal Reserve out of um, Philadelphia, its report. So, no, manufacturing is not growing. Manufacturing is contracting. But which number today, for September 15th, I think is the most important number you need to look at for data that gauges your money, your stimulus, your family, your economy, your inflation, your recession? The bond yield. The two-year bond. This is money you put it away for two years. You get interest, and after two years, you take the bond out of the market, out of the, out of the bank, like the two-year CD. The two-year bond, if you have been listening very carefully to the numbers on this channel since just Tuesday, today's Thursday, you will be shocked how quickly this two-year bond has moved. Now, I often round up numbers to make it easier for you to just comprehend, because there's a lot in a particular broadcast. But right now, I'm not going to round up because I want to show you how quickly these two-year bonds moved up in two days. In two days. The two-year bond on September 13th, which was the day the stock market crashed 1,100 points, and you know when stocks go down, bonds go up, that two-year bond rose to its highest level since 2007, and that was... 3.735. Got it? 3.735. That was September 13th, Tuesday. September 14th, the day after that, the market was basically flat. The Dow Jones was stocks were basically flat, but the bond yield went higher from a 3.735 on Tuesday to a 3.79. On Wednesday, September 14th, today, September 15th, 3.8. Whoa, that is a big move. And I got to tell you, it's Thursday. I mean, it's retail sales, it's unemployment. There's not a lot of data today. It's, that is an insane move in two days. So I got to tell you, it was a massive move on Tuesday. You know, the biggest, it was it, it, the, the biggest jump of that yield number since 2007. That alone was the biggest jump that you would have thought we would end the week with. And then it kept on going higher Wednesday. And then today, 3.8. I got to tell you, if there's one thing I teach you on this channel, data to really follow. Whatever the Federal Reserve governors say out of their mouth, you take that to the bank and etch that in stone. Number two, whatever the bond traders do, you etch that in stone. And number three, when you get any of this data on this channel, you etch that in stone. This is big surprises. Why is it happening? We all know why it's happening. This is almost data. It's not even analysis. Because they believe that the Federal Reserve is getting so much strong, higher inflationary data from that CPI on Tuesday, the PPI on Wednesday, and the retail sales today, Thursday, that they are now thinking in the back of their mind, as I have said as well on this channel for a very long time, interest rate spikes will be with this U.S. economy for a while.
here is my analysis. I've been saying for a while that the Federal Reserve is going to do an interest rate spike of 75 basis point in September in about seven or eight days from now, and then continue at 75 in October, November, December thereafter, and continue those interest rate spikes through half of next year because they got to get inflation to 2%. This, my friends, is why you have to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Have you become a member? Make sure you go on this video. Join this channel. This channel delivers to you the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts for members of LA1, the first broadcasting channel of this family, LA2, and LA3. It's the same newsletter. And in that newsletter, there is now 14 categories of 300 checks with approximately $300,000 for you to go get. It's federal stimulus from the federal government, massive sums of money, and you qualify. You go get it. It's in every U.S. state. People always say, is there a stimulus check in Hawaii? It's federal stimulus from the federal government. The check doesn't know where you live is my new line. The check doesn't know where you live. It also doesn't know, the check doesn't know what type of hairstyle you have. <laughs> so go get it. How do you get it? You become a member. You go on this video, then get that newsletter. You go down and apply for each of those incredible checks. I'll go over each of those checks in just a second. Now, with that data released this morning of the retail sales following the data of the CPI on Tuesday and the data of the PPI on Wednesday, what are we looking at now with inflation? Exactly what we wanted. Inflation has not gone down at all. And in fact, since the month of December 2021, I've had no data on this channel that indicates inflation has gone down. In spring of 2021, I was the only American broadcaster to report that the U.S. economy was going to suffer inflation at an 8% rate, and it was not going to be temporary transitory. At the time, the Federal Reserve and Wall Street said, inflation is going to be at about 2 or 4%, but it'll be temporary, just one or two months. I said, no, it's going to be 8% persistent. It came in at 8% in December of last year. I got it right. And then I said, it's not going to go away. Now, as we go into late September, it has now been nine months of eight plus percentage inflation. And in those nine months, the Federal Reserve has had seven interest rate spikes from January to July. They don't mean in August. And they have not gotten inflation down at all, less than even one percentage point. This is big news for your benefits. Why? It's called lifetime stimulus. It's called lifetime stimulus. Tens of thousands of dollars are coming to you lifetime. Why? Because your benefits are going up lifetime. We had hoped for this, and now it's a reality. Your benefits are tied to inflation. Let's take it back a step. This is everything we had ever hoped for. During a run for campaign, uh, during a run for the Democratic uh, nomination for president, Elizabeth Warren said she wanted to give you $200 a month for 12 months if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Wearable Benefits. That would have only been 12 checks of $2,400. Joe Biden then said he wanted to do the same. And then, in spring of this year, we said, let's swap that COLA for inflation. Because we were inherently worried that the Federal Reserve was going to get inflation down before they lock in the raise of your benefits. Well, today, folks, inflation has not gone down. And your benefits are going up an enormous amount. Let's go over the latest details on those benefit raises starting right now. Your benefits are going up an enormous amount. We caught on this channel a lifetime stimulus. We caught on this channel a lifetime stimulus. Why? Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Once they go up, they never go down. For example, if your benefits went up 2% this year, that wouldn't be not just this year, but lifetime. It's absolutely incredible. Who? You. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. You're going to see thousands of dollars in your wallet over your lifetime because of what is happening these three months on this channel, July, August, and September. About $5,000, some of you more, some of you less. And that's not just lifetime. For you, some of you, that will be in just one year. What's at issue? Let's go over at issue all the data right now. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, Cost of Living Adjustment, and it determines how much your benefits go up. It's determined by another number. The CPI-W for the month of July, August, and September. And last night on Evening's L8, and for the first time on Afternoon's L8 right now, 
you're hearing breaking news about what happened because we never had the real core core data data driven numbers until last night and i'm going to deliver to the to you that data right now the cpi dash w for the month of july was released august 10th what was that cpi dash w for the month of july 8.7 percent. the cpi dash w for the month of august released this week on september 13th what was it was it 8.7 was it lower no it was higher 8.9 oh this is great this is absolutely incredible the third breaking news that i delivered last night on emmy's l8 was what date do we get the final third cpi dash w for this month we're living right now september we get it on october 13th 2022 and when do we hear the official announcement of the cola number for this year that determines how much your benefits are going up not just this year but lifetime also october 13th wow a lot of breaking news in today's recording now here is where it gets exciting what about this month what about September? What about September that's being released on October 13th? Well, think back about this. The Federal Reserve did not meet in the month of August. The Federal Reserve is meeting this month, but in just about another week or a week and a half. And whatever they do, it's not going to affect, it is not going to impact at all inflation because it's too late in the month of September. Yes, and whatever they do, it takes a few weeks to, to get through the economy and filter through the economy. So whatever you and I see right now in the economy, the supermarket, the gas station, that is your inflation for September. We will not see it changed by the Federal Reserve for September at all. So now let's go over what those component parts are for that inflation for the month of September and what your analysis brings. Remember, you are the eyes and ears and you've gotten this so right. You've gotten it so right. And you can do this better than Wall Street. And you have. You have over the last few months. Let's go over some of those component parts and let's use our, uh, let's use our August CPI data that was released on September 13th as a, as a benchmark. So let's first look at a, one of the shockers, Medicare services rose in the month of August 0.8%. That's nearly 1%. Do you believe they're flat or going down? <clears throat> I mean, I'm saying that with a straight face. Of course they're not going down. When is medical services ever cheaper than the prior month? Never. Uh, maybe if you're in like in Russia. <laughs> uh, you met, you know, do they have them? Yeah. No, it's not going down. So that's easy. Let's go to the next one. Food. Okay, jump in the live chat. Food. Food going down. No. <laughs> Does anyone can say hi? Anyone agreeing that food's going down? Jump in the live chat. Food going down, flat or higher? Right, food higher or lower in the live chat? It's not going down. The food in the month of August rose 0.8%. And this is very obvious. I mean, the yogurt here in Los Angeles was $3 just two months ago. It's now $7. I mean, it's just wacko. It's wacko prices for ogre. yogurt. Oh, yogurt. Mm -hmm. Yogurt. Yogurt. Your yogurt. Uh, the rent. Do you think the landlords are, are reducing people's rents? <laughs> okay, I have to say this is a straight face. Do you believe the landlords are cutting people's rent? No, of course not. And that's shelter. Rent is shelter. And it's 30% of the CPI. So, so far, this has been pretty easy for you and I to analyze. How about the salaries? Higher, lower, same. Jump in the live chat. Well, we had the, the non-farm payroll numbers released about two weeks ago showed the, the salaries were up to a 0.2%. We had the CPI on uh, Tuesday that showed the salaries rose 0.2%. There was the same number again. So where is anything in this data that's down? There's nothing in this data that's down except gasoline. Gasoline is down, but it's offset by all these other numbers going up year to date gasoline was is up 26 percent year to date airline is up 33 percent year to date electricity is up 16 percent year to, oh it's getting cold outside right it's, it's starting to get cold in some parts of the country imagine how much more your utility bills are going to be yeah this is easy so with that we know we sense 
or at least I want to hear your commentary in the live chat. I'm not going to vouch for you. You, you. you give me your report in the live chat right now. Are items more expensive in September than they were in August? Higher or lower? Higher or lower right in the live chat. I think they're higher. I don't think they're lower. And again, we had those retail sales numbers minutes ago, unless you're buying a car. I mean, you know, uh, they are higher in my opinion. With that, let's now go back into your benefit raises. Everyone's benefit is going to go up an enormous amount. This is lifetime. Absolutely incredible. You all get the same percentage raise, direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. This is thousands of dollars in one year for some of you and tens of thousands of dollars a lifetime. It's absolutely incredible. And this is just heartwarming because this is everything we wanted. Now, let's go over to the analysis. We have all the data. We have all the data. Let's go to the analysis. On October 13th, the official announcement will be made of how much that of what the COLA will be for this year. What the COLA will be for this year. I'm going to explain to you something right now, which I, in my mind, think is very complicated. So I'm going to slow it down. And I hope you stay with me because it is very, very important for your benefits. When they announced the COLA last year, it came in at 5.9% when announced in October. Follow me so far? Okay, good. That 5.9% COLA raise was eaten up, consumed, devoured by the rising cost of medical bills if, this is only one group of people, you're on Medicare Part B, Plan B. For people who are on Medicare Plan B last year, you saw your Medicare Plan B bills go up 15%, 15% in one year, 14.5%, while your COLA only went up 5.9%, 6%. So your COLA went up 6%, your medical went up 15%. Yeah, your medical consumed all the COLA. It, it was not a good situation. This year, so you're following me so far? I think I'm, I think I'm making this pretty clear. I'm going really slow. This year... That will 100% not happen for the Medicare Part B people ever again. Why? Because that event last year was 100% caused by one medicine. That one medicine is no longer expensive because of a congressional bill that they passed a few months ago. The congressional bill and because of what Medicare did with that medication. They removed that medication which is the sole reason your bills for Medicare Part B went through the roof last year and consumed all your raises of your benefits checks. So I want you to understand that whatever COLA raise you get on October 13th this year, if you're on Medicare Part B, it will no longer be consumed in the insanity it was last year. This is incredible great news. And thank you for going through with me on that. That is important data that you need to know. So let's do some analysis. Where am I projecting your benefits to go in this announcement on October 13th? Well, the, the CPI-W and the benefit and the COLA is not a one-to-one. So let's say the CPI-W is, is 2%. That doesn't mean the benefit raises 2%. It's not a one-to-one. Here again were the, those numbers. July CPI-W 8.7%. August is CPI-W 8.9. The Seniors League, when looking at the July CPI-W of 8.7, said at the time your benefits were going to go up 10% based upon a CPI-W of 8.7. When the 8.9 CPI was released this week on September 13th, the Seniors League then changed their mind and said your benefits are going to go up 8.7%. Uh, confusing? Yes. Do I have an explanation for it? No. Do I agree with it? No. <laughs> Is there any analysis that explains what they're doing? No. Mm -hmm. So I don't agree. Ultimately, I may be wrong. They may be right. They may be wrong. I may be right. You may be wrong. I may be You may be right. I may be wrong. We will see on October 13th. At the moment, I'm sensing about 11% to 12% raise for your benefits. I'm sensing about 11 to 12%. It's dependent on a lot of factors. And remember what happens in September. Refineries often go offline because of hurricanes and tornadoes. So this is all very important. Oh, 
Oh, it just came in the back of my brain. <laughs> I you remember my recordings are all are all um, non scripted. There's a report out today that the president of the United States is going to stop the release of oil from the strategic reserves, which will bring gasoline back up. Oh boy. So this is all very, very variable at the moment. This, my friends, is why I have to get a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. There is tens of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, with 14 categories of 300 checks and $300,000 across the board for you to get its federal stimulus. And where is it? How do you get it? You become a member to this channel. Then you go into that membership newsletter, you get all those incredible three checks. Let's look at those, did I say three checks? those first three checks. Uh, let's look at those 14 categories of checks right now. Those 14 categories of checks started with the ones that were passed by the president, I'd say it's by executive action in the month of March. They're huge. About $100,000. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it as well. The first three checks, A, B, and C, done by executive action of Joe Biden. Then we had Congress passing a law no less than about four weeks ago that established seven more categories of checks. I call them E through K. They're in the membership newsletter together. Then over the last few weeks, I have found you more checks, and those more checks are L, M, O, P, and uh, are, are L to Q. <laughs> Let's just say it that way. I am very bad on saying the alphabet on air. I just, I get confused every time. Purple Power, go get these incredible checks. They are in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And in the big second half, we're going to go over these 14 categories of incredible 300 checks, $300,000. You get this, Purple Power. You deserve these sums of money. You go into this video, join and become a member. And the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks. For the shorts of Santa Monica, California, we're just getting started. Plus, we'll have the latest details on what is happening with the housing market and what will happen with the Federal Reserve in just a few days. For the shores of Santa Monica, California, we're just getting started. The big, bold, beautiful second half of Afternoons LA heats up in just 60 seconds. See you back then as Afternoons continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And they somebody, somebody, and they, and they, and they, testing, testing, and the excitement continues right now in the big second half from a big afternoon to LA. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It is exciting here along the coast as it certainly got a little bit darker and certainly a lot cooler. You want to become a member. Go right in this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. And with that, let's go over these incredible checks right now. The first three checks are checks A, B, and C, passed by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. Viewers have been getting them ever since. You deserve these big sums of money. The federal stimulus for the federal government in every U.S. state. The check doesn't know where you live because it's for the federal government. You get these incredible checks. They are checks A, 
they are checks B, and they are checks C. They are all in the membership newsletter. You go down to where it says A, B, and C, and then you go get it. Then Congress passed seven more categories of checks thereafter, E through K. And how do you get those? You go down the membership newsletter where it says E through K. Apply for each of them. Then after that, I found you more checks, L through Q. Lots and lots of stimulus. Let's go over what this, what these checks look like and what you need to know. First, it's for you. It's for Signal Married, with children, without children, on benefits like SSI, SSDI, Social Security and World Benefits, ahead on bills, behind on bills. Every U.S. state, absolutely. you got to go get it. It's not coming by direct deposit for people who just stand by the mailbox. You have to go get these sums of money. What do the monies look like? First, the arrival times are very quick. Some of them are less than three days. Second, big sums of money. We have one check that is over $100,000. The lowest, smallest check in my mind is about $8,000, $10,000. It's massive sums of money. Lots and lots of checks and viewers are getting massive sums of money. We have a lot of success stories coming in on a regular basis. And if you have had one, send to me on private message on Facebook, and I'll feature it on air. And if you've had a success story, post in the live chat. Len Glenn getting 12 months of utilities just a few days ago. Another viewer getting 12 months of utilities. Two viewers getting 14 months of rent. Dragon, longtime viewer and triple member to all three channels, getting 140000 Lorraine, over 155000 Johnny getting nearly eight hundred thousand for twenty of his friends and fifty thousand for himself. Excuse me, eighty thousand for himself and fifty thousand for his two family members. Mark getting one hundred sixty-six thousand. Nisi getting massive sums of money, over sixty thousand. The success stories come in all the time, and there's literally a check for everything for you. Tens of thousands of dollars, big sums of money. You qualify, go get it. What do you do? You go under this video and join LA Light. You can join the first channel, which you may be watching right now, or LA Light 2, or LA Light 3. Three different broadcasting channels, all in this broadcasting family. All three of them deliver the same newsletter to you, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts for members to you. You go right down where it says A, you apply. Go right down where it's B, you apply, and similarly. For C, it tells you who to call for. Absolutely incredible checks. And it's 300 checks over 14 categories, upwards of $300,000. Go get it. And I will continue to look for more checks for you across the board. The latest details you need to know about this economy is that the next 30 days could be telling. The next 30 days could be telling. Why? Because analysts are starting to now repeat what you and I have been discussing on this channel for a while. And what is it? You know what graphic I'm looking for. You know exactly what graphic I'm looking for. The financial cliff graphic. We have talked about a while that September is likely, here it is, that financial cliff. And a series of reports coming out today for September 15th now indicate that the financial cliff could become very pronounced in the next few days, if not next few weeks. The latest commentary came out today from a billionaire investor. And his comments were the following. His name is Barry Schernack. That CEO billionaire said the following. The U.S. economy is tinkering. The CBI data, the data that you're looking at, is old data. They all have to do with call, to call. And he says, I think right now that the rate of rent, is, I think that the fourth quarter is really where you see things falling apart. We also have another report today from BTI strategist Jonathan Grinsky, who says we're looking at the worst seasonal stretches of the year in mid-October. The first test of validity will sometime come thereafter. And of course, we had that data right before the markets crashed on September 12th. That data was much the same downward trending for the rest of this year. The data for September 12th came in from Finch Ratings and also from Credit Suisse. Again, this was the Monday before the market crashed on Tuesday, 1,100 points. 
Credit Suisse, the major bank, says they're expecting the downward trend year to date will go lower as we continue throughout the year and below. And then Fitch Rating says as continuing anticipation of Fed tightening will further weaken as uh, impending recession is coming around and corporate profitability would be hard to get. There you go. Here is what you need to know. Whatever you see right now is not as bad as it's going to get. It's going to get a lot worse. And certain industries will get worse before other industries. Here's an example. Housing is, is, is in a recession right now. And obviously, you saw in this report, new car sales are in a boom period. So it's very much a mixed bag. The President of the United States addressed the American people yesterday. And his comments were just absolutely out to left field. His comments were out to left field because he's basically trying to pitch you on wrong data. And I don't like anyone that's running wrong data, but it is the President of the United States, so I want to run his quote. He said the stock market does not necessarily reflect the state of the economy. But that's absolutely incorrect. The stock market is supposed to reflect consumer confidence, supposed to reflect corporate profitability, and is supposed to reflect projections of where the economy is going. Now, the stock market is not always perfect, and we also understand that as well, because the stocks, the stock market has, has misprojected what the Federal Reserve is going to do. But that's actually an incorrect quote by the President of the United States. But let's go over the rest of this quote. Unemployment's low. He's right on that. But remember, labor falls apart later in a recession, not at the start of the recession. Manufacturing is good, he said. Here we go. That's why I wanted to run the quote. Manufacturing fell apart today in that Philadelphia Fed number that was released. And he says, I think we're going to be fine. Well, depends how you define fine. A recession is not fine. And a recession will be two years for this U.S. economy. That is not fine for some people. Where will the hurt be felt first? And where will the hurt continue thereafter? The biggest hurt will be first felt in the housing market, which is already being impacted dramatically. The bond yields, which we started off with early in this recording, are up. That means that the mortgage rates will continue to go up. And how much have those mortgage rates gone up in the last year for buying a home? From 3% to 6%. How much more high are they going to go in my projections? 7%. Why? Because I'm projecting the Federal Reserve is going to raise those interest rate spikes throughout the rest of this year. I mean, obviously they are because they got to get inflation to 2% and they only got six more months. They are not stopping with those interest rate spikes. They made that clear. And I'm projecting them to continue that into next year. 7% mortgage is likely in the works for that fixed mortgage rate. Will people be able to afford a mortgage at 7%? No, they're not affording a mortgage at 6%. That's why the mortgage application is the historically lowest levels right now. Will you be able to sell a home? No. Will you be able to buy a home? No. And that situation will get worse as the mortgage rate grows. What have we seen so far? Homes that are on the market right now, 20% of them are not selling. And the homeowners have to sell, cut the price of the home. That's going to grow to not 20% of the prices being cut, but 50% of the prices are getting cut. Then... The time of the homes on the market is going to grow as the homes sit on the market and then don't sell. As inventory builds up, then it creates a domino effect. It increased by five days. It's going to increase more thereafter. What about the existing price of homes selling? The average price in the U.S. home, what is happening and what will happen? Compared to last year, the average sale price is down 14%. Compared to 2019, the average price is down 41%. You're going to see those numbers grow as well. And that is the first industry that's going to get impacted across the board. The next industry that's going to get impacted across the board is small mom and pops, in my opinion. Small mom and pops have a lot of items that are based upon debt. The furniture in the store, the inventory, like the, the food product being delivered today to be sold tomorrow, a lot of this is, is done on a, a house credit or revolving credit loans or things like that. And they're not going to be able to afford that. Next, the next industry to really get hurt badly is anything that is dependent upon basically a food chain. So when you see a big box retailer potentially laying off employees or closing stores or reducing the workforce, then anything that's down on that food chain 
is going to get hurt as well. And that's where labor eventually falls apart later this recession. Here is what you need to know. Data is going to drive this economy for the next two years. Data. The CPI, the PPI, and the retail sales are released every month in consecutive three days. I feature them every day, every month on this channel. And thank you for tuning in this week for that data over these last three days. The new jobless claims are released every Thursday before sunrise by Department of Labor. And I've been featuring them for nearly, what, it's been two years? I try to keep track of it. It's been two years. That's what? About 100 reports I've done on this channel. Yeah. About 100 Thursday morning shows. Yeah. So there you go. Then the in-between numbers for inflation, the personal consumption expenditure index, the PCE is huge. That will be released between this number this week, these numbers this week, and the next CPI. And then we have the housing data, the existing home sales, the new home sales, those are released once a month. So much data drives the analysis and that ultimately you put the data first. You've been doing such a great job. Keep it up. And finally, the best way to find the data is you. You keep it up. Keep on interacting with your data post in the live chat. Whenever you're in the live chat, write what you see for the milk, write what you see for the eggs, the salaries, the rent, um, the gasoline, write what you see, and of course, always post what state you're in. Not the city, but the state. Because that's so important. Because someone, for example, who's watching and is in the live chat from Virginia will see you posting in Arizona, and someone in Wisconsin will see you posting in Ohio. And if they see the same impact on prices that they're experiencing, then they understand how for them to gauge inflation as you are. That's the true spirit of the true spirit of the purple power. We are like an incubator for data. We cre we share the data we experience, and as a family of millions and millions of viewers a day, we jump in the live chat and we say, "Yes, I'm experiencing that as well." When you share that data, you're helping other viewers in that live chat. Share the data. Keep on getting stimulus. Keep on leaving. Keep on getting that stimulus in your wallet and reducing all that debt. Don't have any adjustable rate debt you can have. And tell your friends and family and, and loved ones and your sons and daughters as well. Get rid of that car loan. Get rid of that mortgage rate that's flexible. Get rid of that credit card debt. Get rid of it very quickly. Because you saw in just two days from now, from this two days this week, what has happened to the two-year treasury note. Imagine what will happen thereafter. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, we got big shows coming throughout the day. Evening's out late at 5 o'clock. And then... 6 o'clock countdown, stream and at 7, 8 o'clock is extra. And join me every day with live shows throughout the broadcast. Live shows on LA 1, live shows on LA 2, and live shows on LA 3. Don't forget to become a member. Go around this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. And get all these incredible sums of money. Get all these incredible sums of money you deserve. Get them today and do what other viewers have done and get ahead of the ball game. With that, I look forward to seeing you today and throughout the week as well. Stay informed, stay focused. The programming continues on this channel throughout the day. As a big September 15th continues, stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.